Hello Internet and welcome to Linux Learning Tutorial Series. In this tutorial we are going to learn the awk command and its usage. If this is something that interests you then keep watching. Alright, uh, let me just give you an introduction to awk command. Uh, awk is one of the most prominent text processing utility on Linux. Uh, you can extract data from text files to and rearrange it to form a meaningful thing. Now the audience for this tutorial is mainly the NS2 users who are watching my other NS2 learning series because NS2 requires an extensive usage of awk command. But, um, this is not limited. Uh, this tutorial will also be useful for software developers, system administrators and any other person who is inclined towards the usage of Linux operating system. <coughs> uh, and the prerequisites for this tutorial are uh, the understanding of Linux operating system and shell scripting. A little bit of shell scripting. In this tutorial I'm not going to be illustrating all the awk um, options however this is targeted to um, give you an orientation towards how you can use awk for um, extracting information out of the ns2 trace files all right let's begin with the tutorial then uh, whenever we perform ns2 simulations we get output files in the form of trace files so if we open this trace file uh, we get a lot of information which is which needs to be segregated in order to get information about various parameters for example this this simulation output is an output of uh, output of in network that has both TCP and UDP traffic flowing uh, for certain period of time. So if I want to extract the information of how many CBR packets actually got exchanged and how many TCP packets got exchanged. So for that I would need the help of awk command. So this is going to be the problem statement. What we are going to be doing is extracting CBR, TCP and acknowledgement fields out of this file. And um, other users can also take example, take example from this that if you have any other file which needs text processing, so you can do it likewise. Alright, so let's begin with the first instruction. Now, as we can see, this output file has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a it has a lot of um, columns. So, the first six columns are pretty important because they tell you the, uh, no the originating node the destination node, the kind of traffic and the packet size. So let us say I want to extract uh, column number one, two, three, four, fifth uh, from this file into some other file. How do I do that? For that I would simply write awk and I would in parenthesis Put print dollar five. Dollar five represents the fifth column that I want to extract. Now my awk command is asking the operating system to extract fifth column from the out dot trace file. Now if I do not specify an output file name here, it will show um, the output on the screen like this. 
okay now you can see that it has listed the fifth column on the terminal window which does not make sense so what we need to do is we need to extract this information into a new file so we'll output this information to a new file by giving a file name let us say traffic okay now what I'm doing is I'm outputting the column number 5 from trace out dot trace file into a new file by the name of traffic okay so I've got traffic file made if I open traffic Now this file shows you the fifth column of the output trace file like this. So if you click on the last uh, entry in this file, it will tell you that this has 5293 uh, total lines which which can mm, prove useful at a later point in time so if I want to extract two columns so I can use the command with the comma here dollar let us say one comma dollar five to some file traffic one so this is how two columns are extracted now once we have done that we I would want to further segregate CBR, TCP and ACK uh, entries from traffic file. How do I do that? So by this time you must have gotten a feel of how awk is very useful and versatile in extracting information as per our own requirement so I am going to run another or command Alright, now what I want to do is I want to uh, compare this string CBR. I want to match this string CBR in my file traffic which I just made a moment ago. And all those entries who are equivalent to CBR from my traffic file, they will go into another file by the name of let us say CBR traffic. Okay, so CBR traffic now contains the list of entries which are only CBR. Alright, similarly if I want to make it for TCP, I'll extract the same information for TCP from traffic file and output it to TCP traffic and I'll do it for ACK traffic
All right. So we have awk traffic containing all the entries for awk. TCP traffic contains all the entries for TCP. CBR traffic contains all the entries for CBR and traffic contains all the entries from the main outdoor trace file the fifth column that contains all the entries including CBR, TCP and ACK now if I want to display the count of how many CBR, tra CBR packets actually um, got transferred in our simulation what I can do is I can simply do it by matching the string CBR and I can do a little bit of and I'll output it to a okay Alright, now what I'm doing is uh, I want to extract this information from CBR traffic and I'll write it to a new file by the name of uh, let us say CBR count. Okay, what I've done is I've, I've matched the string CBR in my file CBR traffic and I have outputted the count to a new file by the name of CBR count so you could note down this instruction on your notepad or you could bookmark this video and pause it and you know try it again uh, but let's just check CBR count and the CBR count tells me that CBR file or the CBR packets were 1041. Let me just check it here also. Okay, it also says 1041 here. Uh, next, we can do it for. TCP so we need to order it from TCP traffic and the new file name should be TCP count and the TCP count turns out to be 2146 So I'm just double checking it to make sure that it's working correctly or the G edit is working correctly as a matter of fact. Uh, so that that is it. That's about it. So I'm sure uh, you've gotten a feel of how you can use the awk command to extract information. Now the second aspect of awk command is uh, the using uh, by using the awk files for example um, I've got I've got awk files they look something like this okay now awk dot awk file or any file with an extension dot awk will have a list of commands or operators or uh, you know the things which are 
which orc can do in uh, in a sequential form with no separate file and then we could run all those set of instructions in a single go by executing that org command how do we do that for example uh, i have a few org files already uh, made uh, in this folder if i want to test one of the org files the instruction would be org um, minus f so let me just use measure packet loss now I'm I'm asking my operating system to run this or command on the output dot trace file so it gives me uh, the number of packets sent and lost as the in output um, which is supposed to be the output from the awk file because this awk file must have had the code for calculating the uh, packet loss rate by writing a series of instructions so uh, I hope that that sparks uh, some some freshness into your learning curve toward towards uh, awk and uh, if you want to mm, have a comprehensive look at all the options that we can use with awk uh, instruction you you could visit the link in the description to get a pdf that's a free pdf giveaway pdf and you could try all those on your machine and if you want to try the very basic instructions you want to get a feel of how awk is working you could um, pause the video at any time and um, do the instruction on your computer th that I highly recommend and if this tutorial helped then spread the word and spread the cheer and you have a very good day I'll see you in some other tutorial bye bye <laughs>